Okay, well here we are in heat number three. Matt Bimro is surfing for Volcom. Mate, uh, what's your tactics going out there? Well, there's a few tactics, Harrow. As you see, there's the tide starting to push in. It was all lefts earlier on in the day, but seems this tide starting to push in. You see this nice little barreling right hander there. Kind of like, a bit like Kira, but a lot like DY. Alright, so mate, is that what you're looking for out there? Trying to get in the barrel? Surf that big time. If I was Bo Mitchell, I'd be getting stand ups right now. So mate, you're going to be in the water with O'Neill's Jared House. It's going to be a bit of a hassle out there, mate. How are you going to take him on? Well, Jared is known for his Brazilian tactics. If you guys, if anybody out there has ever served with him, he's one of the worst hustlers in the world. It's a cross between him and Toby Martin for the worst hustlers. But Jared actually had the vote the other day and Jared took the cake, so it's going to be pretty funny. See him over there giggling like a full brazo that he is. There he is. <laughs> So mate, do you think you'll have to pull his leg rope or... You know, I'll be doing a few Dean Morrison's pulling yeah. the leg ropes, so I'll be doing it all. Oh mate. Okay, we're in the mix with O'Neill's Jared House. Mate, Vaney just got a nice one. What a tactic heading out there. Well, Vaney didn't free surf. He's fresh off the plane from New Zealand. Um, and he was still talking when the buzzer went off. So, I don't know if he was too prepared, but I kind of just said to him, the lefts are coming off the rip and you know, I yeah. just sort of steered him in the right direction. But that was a nice one, I made up for his first one. So mate, no preparation's paid off for him, but your own preparation, how are you feeling? Well, the rest of the team, Rama, Timmy and I have been down here the last couple of lunches. We've been squeezing a little surfing on the bank and getting, getting familiar with the lineup. So. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Vulcan here. <laughs> no, I just got off the plane, but mate, we uh, just spoke to Bemi. He thinks there's going to be a little bit of a heckle out there on the peak. You said that D.Y. is Toby Martin. You reflected that and you're out of D.Y., mate. How are you going to take him on? Oh, well, I need to borrow some polarised sunnies for the glare off his head. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mate, uh, 1701, happy with that? Kinda, I thought I thought my last wave was going to be a runner. It's hard to tell out there, you think they're going to run, you want to look for the ones that have just got shoulders on them. When I took off on, I thought it was going to be a little grower, but I closed out on me, I went, you idiot, but I've got to see what I mean, so that's all right. So, uh, Jared, how was it, mate? Are you tiring out there? Um, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Small peak and kind of a rip running out, we're all sort of hassling around on it, like yeah, you said. Yeah, you um, hassle, mate, was it a good fun out there? Uh, that wasn't too bad. It was actually Dan. Karen was. He was sort of doing all the hassling, but it was good in a way. He pushed himself too deep, which let me hit my power wave. Um, but I mean, it's contestable. Yeah, you got a good power wave for back then, Wax. Yeah, that was alright. That one, fun little wave. It's always tough when you've got 12 minutes to try and be selected and get three good ones. So yeah. to get one good one, I'm pretty happy. I think we're at second. So. Yeah, mate, you no, got a good score. I think it was 15.7. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. I would have liked 20. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. Alright, cheers mate.